social update UG. Shop attendant remanded for tweeting joke about speaker Anita Among. What you need to know is that Mr. John Sentamu, aka Kelly Slender, 26 years old, was picked up by a drone at his workplace more than a month ago in connection with disturbing the peace of the speaker on Twitter. Lawyer Jeremy Akeya Mwanji, who is representing Mr. Sentamu, yesterday said his client was picked up on August 30th and that his whereabouts were unknown until he was later found at a special investigation unit, SIU, in Chireka. The case was adjourned without the magistrate giving reasons. A young man accused of tweeting an inappropriate joke about speak of parliament and Tamong was yesterday sent back to jail after, after the presiding magistrate said she was indisposed. Mr. John Sentamu, a.k.a. Kelly Slender, 26, like I told you, was picked up by a drone at his workplace more than a month ago in a connection in which he tweeted, and that tweet was said to be disturbing the peace of the Speaker of the Parliament. Yeah, so what do you think the Computer Misuse Act is going to be leaving many of the Ugandans since even such a thing happened last month? before this bill was really passed. Mr. Sentama, shop attendant, tweeted a joke about the personality of the speaker, the third highest ranked officer in the country after the president and the vice president. While she had paid a courtesy call to Pope Francis at the Vatican about two months ago, where Jeremy Akeya Mwanji, who is representing Mr. Sentama, yesterday said his client was picked in Nakugambi. He was then arraigned before the Buganda Road Court almost a month later before being sent to Luzira to await trial. Mr. Mwanje said the magistrate didn't give reasons as to why the case could not be heard yesterday, including his bail. The magistrate refused to hear the bail application and sent him back to jail until October 27th. We were not given any reasons as to why the case could not proceed, he said. Mr. Setamu is being charged with offensive communication under Section 25 of the, of the Computer Misuse Act. If convicted, he is liable to imprisonment of one year or a fine of 24 currency pound points or both. Yeah, because of this, because of the fact that this guy was actually like convicted or, or like was summoned before this new bill was passed. However, if he was caught when after the new bill was signed, it would be sentenced to a maximum of seven years and pay also a maximum of is it 15 million Ugandan shillings and then also not run for any public position for like 10 years according to the charges and the sheet before court mr sentamu between july and september in kampala willfully and repeatedly used his twitter handle at john kellyton 5 using the username kelly slender to disturb the peace of the speak of parliament with no purpose of legitimate communication this comes at a time when the controversial computer misuse act 2022 is being challenged before the constitutional court with petitioners labeling it unconstitutional and saying it curtails freedom of speech and expression in a democratic nation about the law the computer misuse act assented, assented to by president museveni has a number of provisions including criminalizing unauthorized access to information, sending unsolicited information, publishing photos of children without parental consent, publishing false and malicious information, and publishing unauthorized information. Yeah, so uh, that's what happened to a guy who was sentenced actually just before the Computer Misuse Act was signed. This new one, this, the, the new one which is actually amended. But had it been amended before this guy was caught, would be awaiting like seven years in prison and he could be waiting up to seven years in prison and a, and a fine of up to 15 million Ugandan shillings and also not being able to run for a public position for at least 10 years. So that is it. Uh, tell me what you think in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button. Peace.